The Security Minister, Major General Jim Mohez, has this morning vividly said that he is not aware of the ongoing move by the opposition members of parliament to have him censured. Against the Honorable Zaki? No, about you. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. About what? He says that if it is so, then it was a miscalculated move because him and the NRM government do not condone acts of torture and human rights violation. Uh, I don't think there is any cause for alarm because we all don't support it. So there is no basis of saying that uh, I should be held responsible for something that I don't support, I have not done. Opposition members of parliament two weeks ago moved a censure motion against the minister on account of failing to account for brutal arrest, torture and violation of human rights by the security organs. Mohez was at parliament today to answer queries of the members that sit on the defense committee on the Russian company car tracking contract. Of the day of where the company registration number, where, which street, plot address, can I respond in writing? Last year, the government contracted joint stock company Global Security, a Russian company, to provide digital trackers to all vehicles as a security measure as directed by the president. The deal was contested in courts of law and parliament that constituted a probe into the matter. The minister, while appearing before the parliament's defense committee, allayed public fears that the proposed motor vehicle surveillance system will infringe on individual privacy. The contract be laid on the table. members. The details on the information of the company, uh, information with the report, the due diligence report that was at undertaken, but also uh, the agreement that was signed between the um, government of Uganda and the company. But uh, it looks like the minister was not prepared. Head minus perusing through the agreement which they executed with that company. Uh, we cannot go ahead without knowing which company was this, where is it for, where is the registered office, whom did they compete with, because this was an unsolicited project. The minister was, however, unable to provide satisfactory information to the members, prompting the chair, Rosemary Nyachikongoro, to adjourn the meeting until Wednesday next week. Shamim Naiga, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.